Good morning and welcome. This is our roundtable program. This is the Press Box on 590 The Fan, KFNS. Scott Stout is our broadcast engineer on site. Matt Stedman back at the station. Brian Weber producing. We are thrilled to be at Sarah's Pizzeria, 12218 McKelvey, uh, Dorset and McKelvey, 70 and 270. Been around for 40 years now, and uh, everything is homemade. Red sauce, sausage, meatballs, the arancini, the rice balls, the cannolis are unbelievable. The pizzas are outstanding. We have got a great round table. What about a great recruiting story or a national signing story? Coach, we'll leave with you. Well, one of one of my fav not favorite recruiting stories, but uh, just it actually happened somewhat recently. Is uh, it was a home visit we were going to do with Coach Majerus, and uh, literally had it lined up for about a month. And uh, we went in and uh, on that day and knock on the door when the apartment opened up the door and there's another school sitting right there in the living room. And I thought Coach Majerus was going to have a heart attack. He said, "Well, we'll see you later." We walked away and. The, the parents called, the, uh, they're calling her phone nonstop, and the coach walks in, and we're down the st across the street. It's in a, a somewhat urban neighborhood, and there's a little joint right across the street, and he meets him, and the head coach walks in, and he says to the head coach, he said, right to the thing, he said, hey, you need to get a calendar, son, right to the, right to the coach. And uh, unbelievable how it, it worked out because the parents were so apologetic, and they did it. And, uh, you know, with recruiting, you it, it's such a, a lifeblood of what we do, and when you do, when you go through the process, it, it's it's our you know it's it's for us to have an appointment and have a home visit. It's everything. I mean, you have to. It's a big thing for us. And when things get messed up, it's it's kind of fuzzy. But for us, the recruiting is everything. You need to get a calendar, son. <laughs> Those famous <laughs> That's what he says lines. To the coach. Very good. How about it, uh, Ryan? Well, I, it, it involves me because I remember going on an official visit late in the process to Kansas and see, sitting down with Coach Williams in his office, and he had two scholarships left, and he said to me, we've got two scholarships left, and we need a three, and we need a one, and at the time, Jock Vaughn was their point guard. He said, Jock's going to be gone in two years, and we need somebody to replace him, and that's why we're recruiting you, and we want you. And... He listed off for me the players at the three position that he was going for, including Vince Carter and Robert Tractor Trailer, although he was kind of a four, but yeah. they were recruiting him kind of in that spot. But he said, the, per the player I want is a kid out in California named Paul Pierce. Then he went on to the point guard side, and he said, Ryan, we want to offer you this scholarship. And, and he goes, so then we kind of talked a little bit about that, and, and, and he said his second choice on that list. Do you want to take a guess who the second choice on that list might have been? Not Stephon Marbury? No, it wasn't Stephon Marbury. It ended up being Chauncey Billups. <laughs> so that might have been a mistake. Uh, but but um, so we ended up he, – he, he, Coach Williams would still tell you, I don't know if he'd still tell you this, but he once you know said during that time that that was a really tough conversation that he had with Chauncey the day that I – said that I wanted to accept because he called up their family and said that scholarship for them is they're, they're kind of stopping their recruiting for him. So Wow, I had a Chauncey Billups. It's pretty hard, good stuff. Hard to believe. <laughs> well, you guys had some pretty good battles, maybe in the Bonner League a little well, bit? I was just thinking, we played, I was trying to figure out what year we played together in the Bonner Pro-Am League, I think it was before you went to Missouri. Right. You're, you're, after your senior year of high school, you're going to Missouri and we play together. And I just remember telling people, they were, everybody's asked me how Kelly Thames is going to do, and I said, he's going to be a pro. I mean, the guy was unbelievable. We played NBA three-point line. Right. He was knocking down NBA threes and dunking on people. And Your height just, and weight was what? My height, I was 6'8". I was uh, probably... Two oh five. Yeah, yeah that, you, so you would be an NBA yeah. small forward with right. that vertical. Right. I mean, I remember your freshman year at Missouri. Right. I mean, you just get you average ten a game, just getting tips and right. dunks and crashing the offensive board. They didn't run any plays no, for you. No, you just I, went and got ten a know, game. That was mainly it. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I played off of a lot of people. We yeah. had like eight seniors on that team. Right. So it, now, were you on the undefeated? Right. Big Twelve or that big eighteen. That was our freshman year. Wow. Melvin Booker. That that yeah. that, that, cool. that we let crew up and everybody. So wait, now you didn't play in the game at the. Uh, the last game at the arena, did you? When Kiwan Garris missed the three free throws, you yes. were the year you played in that one. Uh -huh. That was the uh -huh. wow. That was the triple overtime. Yeah, that was my it was, first it was one of the greatest college games no. I think I've ever seen. Yeah, that was just. And Crudup was going nuts. 
Yeah. Early on in that game, like, man, this guy's an NBA player. Yeah, I mean, Javon, I mean, you know, back then, he's still, to this day, matter of fact, we seen each other two weeks ago in the homecoming. So he's What's still, he do? Is he a coach? He's coaching in Kansas City, but he looks just the same. I mean, chiseled. chiseled I mean, is he chiseled? Yes. I saw him at a game last year. He I looked know. like he was about 290. Yeah, he just went down. Oh, so, has he? Yes, okay. Yes. So he's, uh, he, he looks like he, he did, did in the college. Your former coach, Norm Stewart, is going to be in town tonight. He's going to be the speaker at the mm-hmm. cancer dinner. Um, give me your best Norm Stewart story. <laughs> give me one great Norm one? Stewart story. One? Yeah. Oh, man. Let me see. Maybe maybe I can say something that's not too explicit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That you can say on the air, right? <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, he was talking about the twins, the Haley twins. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I guess uh, they wasn't catching the ball in the post too, too well. And I guess um, it, I guess they was getting a little frustrated. And, you know, he, he just made, made a point to where I'm Norm Stewart. Whatever I say, it goes. Nothing can happen. I'm the, I'm basically the sheriff of Boone County. <laughs> so, I mean, he got that point across that he's the man and, you know, you need to listen and respect. And he was right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get out of here, we want to welcome Vince Serra to the program, who uh, has been our great host here today. Vince, thanks for being with us, and uh, give us an idea. You guys aren't going to Deerberg's and uh, and Schnooks buying this stuff and freezing it. Everything's from scratch. Give me an idea. Everything's from scratch. We make our own dough, our own sausage, our own sauce. We take pride in everything we do here every day. Nice, fresh ingredients. How about family members involved? Oh, yeah. we got sisters, brother-in-laws, everybody's here, mom, dad. We all work together. Now, you're, you kind of are running this thing, but... On a Frio, of course, your father right. set it up. Let's just say he says to you, hey, I want to change things. So who wins this power stroke? He does. <laughs> He's the man in charge. <laughs> All right, that's great. All right, and then you're open late. Uh, a lot of people realize that one o'clock, you can order a pizza at 12 o'clock. Right, Friday, Saturday, we're still open until 1 a.m. in the morning. A lot of concerts, you know, afterwards, we're always here. And if the world's going to end, you're going to eat one last thing at Sarah's, what would it be for you? Pizza. Very good. Vince, we appreciate it. Thanks so much for having us out. Thank you. That's Vince Sarah, Sarah's Pizza off McKelvey Road, 12218 McKelvey Road in Maryland Heights. Really one of the best places in town.